Wow, already. When you roll, add attack and health equal to your level to a random... Mad Catter sounds really interesting, but potentially useless. Merlin seems as good as Karen, but scaling odd. I don't know which I want to go with. Yeah, let's go Merlin. Especially if we can get one of the characters that scales off of magic. Like, Mad Catter I could see working in insanely well, like, later, later on. Do I just get the bad billy goat? Now I'm going to go for the cat. The cat fits in better builds. Or more builds. And if I can buff it. I wonder if the... Uh, no, it just summons a 1-1 cat. It would be great if it kept the stat boosts. I have not seen this guy. Cat! Haha! -ha! Oh no! Cat! 4, 5, and 6 characters cost 3 gold. Oof. He is a late gamer. I'm going to grab Polywoggle, and we're just going to buff it. Could have maybe gone for Kitty Cut Purse. Should have gone for Cinderella, maybe. Shoot. Yeah, I could lock. Yeah, I'll lock. Especially at this stage. Because, yeah, we're going to be trying to spit spells every round. It, I might even try and push for, like... Oh, wow. That's... Pop the Magic Dragon's actually kind of good. But I'm going to try and get it so I'm casting a spell every round. I had lucked out on that one. I did not expect that to work. Why the hell did we get a Humpty... Uh, Humpty Dumpty. Humpus Dumpus. Well. We get her. And then we get a Rainbow Unicorn. Who I'm going to turn evil. Oh, maybe I should have done that with Humpus Dumpus. But it's okay. Ripes. He's the one getting the stat boost. I think I'd... You know what? He's only worth a coin. I'm just going to put him out there. Yeah. I wonder what the upgraded version of it is. Oh, I haven't seen the Cursed King before. Oh, no, I have seen him. Eat my cat. Okay. Well, we get a Tweedle... D. It was just a regular dwarf. Otherwise, we could swing for Good Witch of the North plus the Trojan Donkey. Now nah, I'm just going to go for that. And this is just give a character 3-3 three, three, this brawl. Which is like, anybody? So I guess I'll just give it to him. God damn it, why does he get the stat bonuses? I was going to sell him. I need to... I need to get rid of him. Uh, that... That Humpty Dumpty, I think, has already eaten two or maybe even three stat bonuses. Yeah, there's the dwarf support in the shop, but who do I sell? Screw it. You're right. No, oh, too late. Boy, this is, like, 
Primo Geppetto deck. Well, we win. Okay. Move those guys here. We also have Tiny. Uh, let's see. Give a character extra attack this Brawl. Give it to him. Reroll, because we want another spell. Yeah, none of my dwarves are considered good. I'm gonna roll one more time, see if I get something better. Something better. And there's the Darkwood Creeper, but I think that's a mistake. Cast a random spell. Alright. Characters have extra health. One good character attacks and kills an evil character. Boy. I don't know. I think we're gonna go fight in a youth for this one. Oh, we ended up using roll. All right. Wait, I haven't lost yet? Oh, well, that's about to change. Is it? I Tweedledee and Tweedledum are just doing baffling things. But it works. Okay, what do we have next? So we do have the Wizard's Familiar, which just seems like a kind of no-brainer. I'm just going to boost. We get a... Wah. When your evil characters die? No, Power Orb, I guess. And I don't have enough money. I guess I'm just going to lock it. Because, yeah, getting the, uh, getting the wizards familiar seems like a really good combo at this point. Well, I, it's a weird one. Cell Cats gets, Cell Cat and Cinderella. Oh, I could. It's probably worth it. Okay. Unfortunately, Tweedledee is by and far the tougher creation. Who makes bags on if I'm going to come out of this one? I think I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Why is that Tweedle just on a bender. I love him. Good mage, good support, but I'm not any good. I still don't have any character that counts as good. Now oh, there's the cat. We could also just load up on roosters. I'll get greedy. Right. And we're just going to buff greedy. And do we... Do we lock for a tiny? I don't really want a tiny. What I want is a double. Yeah, I forgot greedy is a dwarf. And that should actually really bankroll me a little bit. If I get lucky. We will see. I... My track record here has been kind of hit and miss.
But I'm not losing. Oh, boy. Here comes the monster mash. Uh-oh. Okay, I only take a bit. Well, we'll grab another fanny. Let's see. I'm actually... I'm gonna buff the greedy, maybe. Let's see. Extra attack this brawl. Guess we'll give it to her. Let's see. Shrink spell, but none of these are dwarves. This one gold take two damage. We also get a crafty. like my options with these. Still don't like them. There is the River Wish Mermaid, which is like an option. I just, come on. Uh, who the hell is this? Oh. Oh, right of the Valkyries. Got it. Nothing. Yeah, we need another dwarf. Wow. This is kind of no contest. Okay, those sheep are a little spookier. Can some more weak guys keep hitting my greedy? No. Well, these guys might do it. I'll take it. Extra money. Well, we get another greedy. And you know what? I'm going to sell the black cat. Grab that. Give some bonus. Roll. And we get a bossy. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Um... I'm just going to lock it. We'll just pop the fireball. Because, yeah, Princess Princess White would be uh, obscene. Let's see. Oh, Nutcracker for a four-cost treasure eventually would be good, too. Maybe. The only problem is I'd have to field him, which I'm kind of... I'm okay on. Yeah, I was like, do I sell a bunch to get her out? The answer is no. Bossy good stat buff over the familiars. I'll switch it on that one. Yeah, you're right. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, I didn't have to... I didn't have to brain on that one. Uh, let's see. That would be terrifyingly bad. I'm going to move away from one of her, keep her on the field. And we're just going to field the others. At this point, we're going all dwarves. Because we want Princess White to be out constantly eating stats. Let's see. I don't have any monsters. I don't have any of these. Okay. Can we get a crafty? I don't think another crafty is worth locking for. But I guess I can buy him. I I love those familiars for the potential stat gains, and it would have been nice to combo them together. But we're just... We need to buy dwarves. Just realized it's Thursday. I'm so confused. Normally, um, normally I do not stream on Thursdays, however, the, uh, the good people over at Shiny Shoe asked me to do a Monster Train sponsored stream, so that's what I'm going to be doing.
So what's her quest? Buy seven dwarves. Uh, which means I should probably start buying some cheap dwarves as we go by. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we want we want the greediest to have as much HP as possible, so they live as long as possible. Hey, thank you, Rito, for the 19-month resub. Make big. Make big. How you doing? I have, I think, finally finagled myself in the right position to do a dwarf build. It feels strange. Ow. Rude. Big rude. I don't know if we're gonna... No, we're not gonna survive this one, unfortunately. Oh, get a random dwarf, and then all my dwarves plus one permanently. Ain't that handy. Uh, let's see. Reduce the cost of a random character in your shop by two. That is decidedly not of interest to me. We're also gonna buy tiny and then sell them immediately. And using them. There's like one or two more dwarves that are actually pretty good, but not for me today. I've already bought a spell. At this point, we're on the... kind of on the roll down. Summon an additional exact copy of the first character you summon every... Nah. Level 2 and 3 characters you... S in your shop? Nah. Let's go with the other hand of Vecna. Toss him in. Let's see, there's another one, but I don't think we need another one. I'm going to roll down and then lock if we see something good. We do not. <sighs> yeah, not finding any doublies is kind of rough. Doubly would have been really solid on this. Ah, someone would have worked with Tweedledee and Dumb. That's fair. Harp? I... Unfortunately... I, I didn't realize I actually have two of these guys in the field. That's fine. It works out. Yeah, I... I... What the shit? What happened? Um... How? Oh. That's what he did. Well, I don't think I'm beating that. Let's see. Gonna get rid of that. That... That tree is... Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm getting through that tree today. Oh, God. Damn it. Do I save for the hi-ho? I'm just fighting a dead guy. All right. Because I, I want this more than any of the other ones. Yeah, if you get near top two, you basically can only beat that with Cupid or Medusa. Yeah, figured. So you buy and sell everything else. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm just going to buy it. We'll save it for the next round. Because, yeah, we want high ho no matter what. Especially if it ends up getting me, like, the Dwarf Lord or something. These are some stinky dwarves, though. So, having never seen this game before, how does it work and how much does it cost? So, it's free to play, uh, and it's an auto battler card game where you. Uh, I mean, honestly, if you've ever seen an auto battler before, it's very similar. 
But effectively, I, I, I build my tableau of seven units and have them fight. There's different synergy bonuses across the board. Uh, well, there's the Medusa. Buy that. When I survive damage, give all of my dwarves bonus. It could. Oh. Well, that helps. And we'll buy the bossy. Which maxes her out, which gets me. Whenever you... Oh, no, that's an upgraded character. Whenever one of your characters dies, fully heal your others. When an enemy character dies, give your characters... Ah, uh, let's see. Do we want to go Tree of Light, Life, Hand of Midas, or Dracula Saber? I'm thinking Tree of Life. Because we've got some pretty tanky dwarves to begin with. Yeah, so I'd, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat Captain Cheeseball. But maybe that's okay. What is that one? Support plus 10 attack. Damn. Well, this worked out. Alright. I haven't seen some of these guys. Some of them are good. Let's pop that for free stats. Yeah, so I'm gonna lose. I kinda know that. Yeah, I won't win with stats. Okay, well, we get the bossy. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna skip these. I guess I'll grab Dwarven Forge and get rid of the Power Orb. Nah. Power Orb. Okay, skip. I It's just giving me too many things. Alright, and then I'm gonna switch out the bossy. I think... No, 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 no. We're gonna switch her out. Because I don't think Princess White's gonna work. Oh! There's the pig. Did it? Oh, I procced! Didn't get the right one, though. Wow! He did it again. Wild growth is freaking gnarly. Damn it. Oh, it's fine. I was pretty sure I wasn't going to be able to beat that no matter how cheesy I got. Oh, I did survive, though. Alright. 30 damage for random enemy? No. Okay, cast another spell this round. Pick a new hero. Uh, let's see. Wow, all of these are bad. It's fine. I'll just switch. Reroll. Grab him. No, go. No, damn it. 
Well, this is frustrating. If you drop the upgraded unit on the board, it won't do that. Good to know. Unfortunately, I think I lose, but... It was about time for that anyway. I mean, we got top three, which is comparatively pretty good for me. But yeah, that's a... That's a 73. Like, I'm not getting through that. I'm not even sure if I would have gotten through that if I had the proper setup. But there was just too much going on and I didn't have enough time. It's okay.